I've been struggling a little, um, probably the past few months. I'm trying to figure out what my daily practice with the Morrigan looks like now with where I am. You'll find this happens from time to time, especially when we have worked with a deity for so long that what we did before, you know, got us to where we are now, but it doesn't serve us now. It doesn't serve a purpose. It's more of just going through the motions versus really, you know, enhancing, building and, and strengthening the bond between you. So it's taken me a while and I had to think about this a lot and I've been trying all kinds of different things and something came to me yesterday and so I decided that I was going to try it this morning and I was really happy with the results. So first off, I started with a prayer. Um, it's an adaptation of an old one and it's, I stand before you in judgment of self. Drinking from your cup to see what you see, know what you know, feel what you feel, for we are two made one, seeking illumination, absorbing new knowledge, studying previous wisdom, choices made, balance of both, flow of this river, bringing happiness, divine revelations, revealing secrets, the bond, the eyes that see all. And I use the blessing oil to do a specific bind ruin, and it's actually three of them together, that really denotes where I am and the path that I am currently walking. And then I grabbed my little cup of tea, and I just sat here and started talking to her, telling her about things that were on my mind, um, how I was feeling, things that I'm struggling with, you know, just talking to her. And then I started looking through my sacred text. This is mine that was created through journeys with her, through ruin journeys, OM journeys, conversations, um, bringing things forth. So all of this was built with her and between us, giving me guidance, direction, and something to keep referring back to and using as I go through this new path that I'm walking. It's not, well, I guess it's not so much new. It's just like the next stage of it. And there was an interesting part in one of the OMs. She gave a message talking about our partnership. And I kept thinking that I needed to go back and look at it that I needed to dive deeper into it to understand it. And the problem was I didn't. I didn't need to go deeper. What I needed to do was be present. Not thinking ahead and trying to figure something out. Not looking behind. But being present and just hearing what she said. Because it was really clear. So the way that she broke it down when I when we were talking about our partnership, her side was divination. By helping me hone that skill of divination, by having a deep understanding of it and what makes that up and how it comes about, it gave me perspective and understanding perspective and various perspective. It gave me that understanding of loss as a necessary fearlessness, even when we're facing something of the unknown, going into it fearlessly, knowing that we can handle this, we can do this and action creating change. So what actions to take to create the change that I was looking for or that is needed in something. The next one was, you know, she taught me self-power, what that is, what it looks like, what I hold within me, duality, conflict resolution. On my side, that gave me deeper understandings of cause and effect um, and my responsibility and my role that I play 
in every situation, you know, whether it's one of my making or one not of my making, I have a role there. I, I play a role because I'm in that experience. And so the things I do good, the things I do bad in that, um, understanding, taking responsibility for them, it is really important into, you know, creating change and making changes and seeing different outcomes. It taught me kindness and kindness isn't being a doormat and letting everybody run over me. It's having compassion and respect and acting in a kind manner, but that doesn't mean to the detriment of self. And it taught me to be a warrior of heart. And I've talked about warrior of heart before um, quite a bit. Her last one that she gave was on her side. It was deep flow, understanding, mastery of water. You know, understanding water, how it works within the world, how it works within us, how it works in the seen and the unseen. Um, and it's flow and it's cycle and... So yeah, that mastery of water really encompasses all of the things that I've experienced. It's talking about my experience and that's what faith is built on. Our personal experiences, what we experience, what we feel, what we, how we move through those experiences. But that experience itself creates faith. And I have deep, deep faith in the Morrigan. She has shown me that. She has given me that. It's something that has been built between us. So, yeah, I, I'm having deep moments this morning. I think that this is really going to form my daily ritual, at least for a while. Doing the blessing piece with my path, doing the prayer, and then going back and using the sacred text that she has given me to work through my own path right now and to walk this path. So yeah, I'm, I'm really feeling it. I'm really feeling her. This is good. So if you're stuck, if you're struggling, if you're trying to find something new as a daily practice, look at the tools you've been creating. Look at the where you are in your path. If you are, have deity or a guide, you know, look to them, ask them, you know, what is it that they're wanting? Um, what is it that they're looking for? Because a lot of the time, probably most of the time, I would say it's, Something that is personal to you and it's something that's going to strengthen that bond with you. And it's going to be from something that you've already created or something you need to create. I really encourage doing your own sacred text, you know. And I've done videos over on my YouTube that show how I did this through the OM journey, the Rune journey, all that. So you can look there if you need suggestions or any help. So, yeah, just just keep going. Keep trying new things until you find something that really works and connects with you. Have a great day.